cheers for this morning. Buongiorno, good morning friends. It's the second day of my vlogging week. The weather in Milan lately is quite weird. Uh, it's raining all the spring. Usually it's not like this here. And as now the weather is quite nice, it's sunny. I decided to go for a walk. Also because as I told you, I'm doing a 75 heart challenge. And uh, today I'm not working out and that means that I need to do at least uh, 10,000 steps today. So walk, walk. In fact, today I have uh, quite a lot of work to do. I need to finish uh, the candles because yesterday I started to make uh, the mini candles that I will use uh, as the gifts for my clients that I will add to any order on my website. And yesterday I just prepared uh, the tins and I wicked them, but uh, I didn't pour the wax. And I also need to pour the new candles with the jasmine fragrance, the new one that will be launched this uh, month. I think I will launch it uh, next week. And uh, before, I just want to go to have some uh, healthy lunch. I saw a nice new place that make avocado toast and they make matcha, so it's perfect. And I'm also thinking about going to Dolce Gabbana exhibition that we have now in Milan. If I will go there today, I will show it to you for sure. The weather in Milan lately was crazy rainy, but the good thing is that we finally have uh, quite um, clean air in Milan, because usually it's a disaster. And uh, also it's so green around. The leaves are so huge on the trees that I saw that in the park on some trees there is so much of green that uh, the branches go down because they are so heavy. One of the reasons why I moved to Italy seven, almost eight years ago is aesthetics. Everything is just so beautiful here. Just any detail. Look at this building. I would love to have those terrace and live in that apartment. That's what I've told you about. Look how green everything is. It's never been like this in Milan. It's the most rainy spring that, I, that I've seen here. So this new place where I had the lunch is quite nice, but to be honest, it wasn't the best avocado toast in my life. Maybe I'm spoiled, I know. <laughs> I know that uh, when you watch my videos, you may think, oh, she just doesn't give a... Sh she's just chilling in the bars and so on. And uh, it may seem like this, but in fact, I work a lot with my phone. So when I go to the bars, also now when I was having lunch, I was working as well with my social media or I was planning something. So the time that I spent in the cafes 
it's not my chill time usually it's like my kind of office let's say <laughs> some grocery shopping and I also cleaned the kitchen because uh, my dear husband uh, left me some mess there and uh, now I'm eating the blackberries because uh, they seemed too sexy not to try them right away <laughs> so I replied to some working emails and now I checking my new soy wax so it's not new I just reordered it it's 100% uh, natural ecological soy wax the one that it's not toxic so you can be sure that the candles made of it are good for your health I mean they are not toxic you can uh, smell them without fear and uh, now I will need to finish uh, these beauties that I've started yesterday and I also need to do some samples for the new fragrance. You know, the interesting thing is that this wax uh, smells really good even without fragrance. It's some kind of soft vanilla fragrance, the natural fragrance of this wax. So I think by now it will be enough because uh, I'm not going to make many candles, just some samples. So by now this will be more than enough. You know, it will be the first time that I'm working with the new vessels. These ones that are luxury vessels, very beautiful. I will make uh, my jasmine candles in them. But first I want to make some samples because uh, I'm not only using new vessels that are bigger than my previous ones. You can see it, I will show you this vessel. And for example, my candle from, from my classic collection, you see that it's slightly bigger. The volume is slightly bigger. And uh, I'm going also to use new wicks. It's the first time I'm using wood wigs so i think it will be very exciting to see how they will work but first look at this beauty so small so cute and first i need to test them because i don't want my customers to have some unpleasant surprises so i always test everything before selling You see, here are the wooden wicks that I will use. This one is for this candle. And I hope that uh, I've chose them wisely uh, with the right dimension, because otherwise it will burn too little or too much. That's why I'm testing always. And here are some smaller ones for this candle that will be mini. And let's try. First, we need to put the wicks inside this little thing. Let's see. I do it for the first time, right behind this camera. It's not that difficult. And now I need a sticker. So let's use the sticker. I have these round ones, but I think they will work just fine. 
least I hope so. And now I need to be precise about the center. It looks quite fine. Hope so. And now we will do the same thing for the small one. Let's fit it here. Use a sticker. I hope it's in the middle. <laughs> it looks like this, you see? Quite nice. And you can see that the wax is, all, is almost melted. I just need to wait a bit more and then I can start to make the candles. So the wax is completely melted. I just mix it a bit because there were other the, there was a bit of other wax before, so I want to mix them well together. So before, I want to make these little gifts for my clients uh, with the fragrance uh, Fico di Calabria that we already have in our collection. And I just need to see how much of the fragrance oil is left, because I just have a little of it and then I will be able to know how much candles how many candles I can make with it so now I need to measure the wax because I need quite a precise number it turned out very precise <laughs> you know now I have to measure the temperature because I need to put uh, the wax at uh, some precise kind of temperature the temperature is even lower than I expected so I can already put the oil I need to put the oil in it and then mix it well for about a minute or for about two minutes I needed to wick some more mini candles because I realized that the wax is too much and let's see the temperature now because I need to pour them at the temperature from 44, no, no, 44, 54 to 60 degrees Celsius around. You see the temperature is almost fine. So I will wait just a bit and then I will pour them. Okay, I think I can start pouring them. Let's see, maybe it won't be very easy, but I will try my best. This was too much. Okay, I have a bit left. Now it's time to put these sticks to keep them straight.
that's finished. So guys, several hours have passed. I needed some rest. I will explain you why. Because uh, I freaked out. You don't even imagine how much. <laughs> because uh, after I made uh, these uh, small candles, I've got the strangest thing in my life that I've never had before. It was like a circle before my eyes, like a shimmering one. I can't explain. I don't know how to explain. And the point is that uh, I saw it from both eyes and I saw it even with closed eyes. I was freaking out. I thought that I was dying already because I've never had anything like this. Luckily, my husband is a doctor and uh, most of his friends are also doctors. And uh, luckily, one of his friends is an uh, uh, oculist. And uh, uh, I called him immediately. And he's also a good one because he works in uh, Switzerland now. I called him immediately because I was uh, so terrified about this thing. But uh, he told me to calm down because uh, he told it's nothing dangerous. Uh, it's um, some kind of spasm that can uh, come if you are concentrated or something like this. Uh, nobody knows why it comes, but it happens. And he told me just to drink coffee or tea, uh, something to make this spasm go away. Uh, maybe I needed to raise up my pressure. I don't know, something like this. I can't explain you. It's called Aura of Talmic or something like this. I don't know. I don't want to tell you because I don't remember well, but I was terrified. But after he told me to drink tea and I did it, it passed. So <laughs> I'm, now I'm alive again. <laughs> After this strange thing with my eyes, the only thing that I need is uh, YouTube and some snacks and chillax.